The F-117 has been in service for 27 years, making its first flight in June of 1981, just 31 months after full-scale development was authorized. At the time, its technology was hailed as one of a kind. It's got a storied history. It was uh, the first airplane that uh, uh, employed its uh, unique combination of precision with stealth, uh, which meant uh, you know low observable uh, characteristics that made it really hard to find on radar. In 1989, it was used for the first time in combat during Operation Just Cause when laser-guided bombs were dropped against Panamanian defense forces. The F-117 really was a game-changer because this is the airplane that, uh, as Colonel Tom Bell, a former F-117 guy, said, uh, kind of tipped the scales from the days of um, large airplane packages. Many, many airplanes needed to take out a target to the point where one airplane could precisely take out more than one target. So uh, I think that will be uh, a big part of the F-117's legacy. The F-117 was back in action in 1991 when it opened the U.S. military's attack during Operation Desert Storm, destroying critical targets throughout Iraq and Kuwait. Recently, the aircraft played a role in Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. They used it uh, extremely well uh, for taking out key targets that had to be uh, had to be eliminated uh, without causing too much collateral damage. Now the Air Force is moving into a new era of aircraft. The F-117's retirement was accelerated this year in order to free up money to modernize the force. It's credited with paving the way for future stealth technology. So we're sad to see it uh, retire, but uh, with its retirement, the Air Force has got new capabilities with the F-22 and Joint Strike Fighter, and of course we already have the B-2, great stealth technology, and uh, and now uh, when it goes, uh, goes to bed at its original home, uh, we're going to go ahead and apply some of that savings to uh, recapitalize the rest of the Air Force. The last four F-117s will make their final flight on April 22nd. Air Force Master Sergeant George Maurer, Pentagon Channel News.